I love you too. I love you all. I believe in the power of words. Many people speak before they think. But I know the value of words. The words can make you, break you, they can heal your soul, they can damage you forever. So I always try to use the positive words in my life wherever I go. They call it adversity, I call it opportunity. They call it weakness, I call it strength. They call me disabled, I call myself differently abled. They see my disability. They see my disability, I see my ability. There are some incidents that happen in your life and those incidents are so strong that they change your DNA. Those incidents or accidents are so strong that they break you physically. They deform your body but they transform your soul. Those incidents break you, deform you but they mold you into the best version of you. And the same thing happened to me. And I'm going to share what exactly happened to me. I was 18 years old when I got married. And this thing I'm sharing for the very first time on an international level. I was 18 years old when I got married. I belonged to a very conservative family, a Baloch family, where good daughters never say no to their parents. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, about nine years ago, I met a car accident. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. I'm perfectly fine now. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. I couldn't breathe. I lost urinal bowel control. That's why I have to wear the bag wherever I go. But that injury that changed me and my life completely as a person and my perception towards living my life was the spine injury. Three vertebrae of my backbone were completely crushed and I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. So this accident took place in a far-flung area in the outskirts of a very small province, Balochistan, where there was no first aid, no hospital, no ambulance. I was in the middle of nowhere in that toppled car. Many people came to rescue. They gave me CPR. They dragged me out of the car. And while they were dragging me out, I got the complete transaction of my spinal cord. And now there was this debate going on, should we keep it here, she's going to die, where should we go, there is no ambulance. There was this four-wheeler jeep standing in the corner of the street. They said, put her in the back of the jeep and take her to the hospital which is three hours away from this place. And I still remember that bumpy ride. I was all broken. They threw me at the back of the jeep and they rushed me to the hospital. That is where I realized that my half body was fractured and half was paralyzed. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I underwent multiple surgeries. Doctors have put a lot of titanium in my arm. There's a lot of titanium at my back to fix my back. That's why people in Pakistan call me the Iron Lady of Pakistan. Sometimes I wonder how easy it is for me to describe all this all over again. And somebody has rightly said that when you share your story and it doesn't make you cry, that means you have healed.
Those two and a half months in the hospital were dreadful. I will not make up stories just to inspire you. I was at the verge of despair. 